How secure is your money inside your ATM machine? What's the security with your money that you stick in your ATM? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. All right. My name is Carrie Buck, and I've been an independent ATM business owner since 2009. Sorry, I just shook my whole desk here. And I've been an ATM business mentor since 2011. That's where I teach people just like you how to start and grow your own profitable ATM business. And by the way, folks come to me for different reasons. They come to me to start their ATM business for different reasons. Some folks want to get out of the nine to five. Some folks want to supplement their retirement. Some folks want to use the ATM business as their retirement. Right. Some folks just want more control over their investments. And then you got the folks that are just tired of working so hard for their money and they want their money to finally work for hard for them. Right. Doesn't matter. It's 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 different for each person. Right. It's going to be different for you as well. OK. Um, but that's why folks come to me. So if you would like to learn more about the ATM business or if you'd like me specifically to help you start your own ATM business, I invite you to go to ATM training video dot com. Again, that's ATM trainingvideo.com enter your email then on the next page there's going to be a pretty informative video it's about 28 minutes long watch that uh, if you're interested in having me help you then you can fill out the application and set up a call with my team all right so what's the security of your money that you place inside the atm machine because the way i teach the business when you're starting out like when you're just starting your atm business right you got like six grand and you want to start your atm business you're not going to hire like a Loomis or a Brinks or any armored car service to fill your machine. I mean, you don't even know how well your machine is going to perform. How are you going to pay for that? You know what I'm saying? So when you're just starting out, you're using your own cash to put in the machine. How secure is it? Well, here's the thing. This is the first thing I want you to, to, to wrap your mind around. It doesn't matter if it's your ATM machine or if it's a bank ATM machine or if it's um, a bank or Fort Knox, or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. If someone wants to do something bad, they're going to do it, right? <laughs> they're going to do it. You can't stop it. Like, you can't predict it. The only thing you can do is prepare yourself if it happens, right? If it happens. Uh, can people break into your machine? Of course they can. Of course they can. They can break into a bank machine. They can break into a bank. They can break into anything. Of course they can break into your machine, right? Um, I mean, they could. You, you've probably seen videos where they wrap chains around something and they use a pickup truck to pull it out. Yeah, of course somebody can break into your machine, right? Common sense, guys. Okay? Um, so you need to protect yourself. Insurance. Have insurance. Have your machine insured and the cash inside it. It's super, super affordable. I don't know why more folks don't do it. Okay? It's affordable. Just do it. Um, with that said, though, the chances of that actually happening, it's probably not going to happen. It's probably not likely that somebody's ever going to break into your machine and steal it. I've been doing this 10 years, and I'll be honest with you. I have had a machine broken into, and it was probably close to somewhere between eight to nine years ago. All right. Um, and we had a machine broken into. We kind of feel like it was an inside job, to be honest with you. Can't ever prove it, but um, they stole 400 bucks and they did probably about $1,500 worth of damage to the machine, right? So $1,900 total, you know? Um, after that, though, after that incident is when I got all my machines insured. They weren't insured. I had no insurance at the time. Um, but for this whole entire time frame now that I've been insured, I've paid a lot, a lot. In insurance premiums, <laughs> a lot. Whereas if I would have just got one machine broken into each year, it would have been less than the insurance premiums I've been paying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, you know. But again, that's what insurance is. Like we have insurance in the world, hoping we don't have to use it. Homeowners insurance, car insurance, health insurance. You know what I mean? ATM insurance is no different, right? <laughs> um, so it's a matter of like how, how much of a risk taker are you? Are you willing to self-insure and not pay for insurance? And then if something happens to your machine, you know you're just on the hook for it. You know you're just out that money, right? Um, chances are pretty good that nothing will ever happen to your machine. And, and again, we're talking, we're not talking that your machine's in like a drug zone or a war zone or anything like that. Like, 
but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about normal areas, okay? It doesn't have to be a high-end, top-notch area. I'm just talking about normal areas, non-drug zones, non-war zones, okay? Everything else is cool, you know? Um, chances are nothing's going to happen to your machine, right? Um, but does it change your take? Are you willing to take it? Now, I still have insurance on my machines because I do mobile events. And my mobile machines and the cash inside them are insured. And I know that if I didn't have my permanent placement machines insured, they wouldn't cover my mobile business, right? Because the mobile side of your business is way more risky than the permanent placement side of your business. So if you don't have a permanent placement side, the insurance company ain't going to cover your mobile machines. The permanent placement side of um, your business kind of gives them the um, kind of offsets for the insurance company, the riskier mobile side, if that makes sense, right? Um, if I didn't have the mobile side of my business, I probably wouldn't have insurance anymore, to be honest with you, right? Um, but I do have it, so I keep my insurance. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you want to stay safe, you know, be in, in decent areas, non-war zone, not drug zones, have insurance, okay? You always want to be safe, right? Um, follow common sense safety techniques, right? For instance, you know, if, if, if you have an ATM in a restaurant, don't, don't fill it at lunchtime. Don't fill it at dinner time. Don't fill it when it's busy. You know what I mean? That's common sense stuff. Um, always take somebody with you. All right. Um, have an extra cassette guys. That is so, I mean, that's so simple, but it's huge. Like it'll save you time. It will save you time. Now, granted, it's going to cost you probably like 400 bucks to get an extra cassette, but it'll save you time because you already preloaded it somewhere, right? Like at your home, for instance. Then you just come, take out the old one, put the new one in, boom, you're out. Okay? Uh, so that'll help you with your, your money. Uh, there's also other things you do. I mean, you could put a GPS tracker in your machine. You could put an alarm in your machine. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, cameras. You know, you can put all that stuff in there, but it's still not going to stop somebody from taking your machine if they want it. You know what I mean? It's not going to stop them from, you know, getting your cash if they want it. Okay? It's just that you'll be able to find your beat up machine, <laughs> you know, or the, or you'll be notified that somebody stole your machine, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I, I just, um, I, I really feel like I understand why it's a, uh, a fear and something that you think about, and you should think about, but it's it's not as common for our little ATM machines that you and I would have that they get broken into it like a bank machine would get broken into, right? Because criminals, I mean, even though they are stupid, they're not that stupid. They know that a PNC or a Wells Fargo or a Bank of America ATM machine has way more cash in it than a little pissant ATM at their local uh, restaurant. Like, they know that. OK, <laughs> you know, um, so if you're going to take a risk, what are you going to try to do? Get the machine that, you know, has 250 grand in it or get the machine that might have a thousand bucks in it. Uh, you know, I'm not a criminal, you know, I don't really know how they think, but you get what I'm saying, you know. Um, what else was I going to tell you? So, yeah, I mean, your your money's not secure like it's not guaranteed it's ever gonna be there the next day when you go to get it you know but for 10 years the money's you know everything's been pretty much there you know every time I went to get it except for that one time that was like again eight to nine years ago maybe 10 years ago I can't I can't remember if it was 2009 2010 or 2011 I don't, I don't really remember um but yeah it's you're not gonna ever feel 100% secure Unless you have insurance. If you have insurance, then you're good, you know, because the GPS tracker in there is not going to stop somebody from taking it if they want it. You know, an alarm system is not going to stop somebody from taking it if they want it. Okay. Insurance is not going to stop somebody from taking it if they want it. You're just going to be covered in the end, you know. Um, and you can always, you know, put the turns up like, you know, signs, you know, all kinds of stuff that will try to deter people. Um, but again, it's like how how comfortable are you with risk? Are you a risk taker or not? You know, if you're not a risk taker, get insurance. 
just get insurance and that solves the problem especially if you know you have a spouse a lot of times spouses feel more comfortable when you they know you have insurance <laughs> and the machine and the ATM the machine and the cash is insured right um but you know if you're a risk taker you don't have a spouse to worry about you want to get insurance get it if you don't don't you know just um worry about your personal safety then right and follow common sense you know strategies when it comes to filling your machine and when it comes to not having the same schedule and all kinds of stuff like that right um, hopefully that makes sense. You guys have any other questions about this? Um, you know, about the security of your money inside your ATM machine. Uh, again, your, your ATMs are not Fort Knox or anything like that. Like somebody can get into it if they want, you know? Um, it's just a matter of, do you want to insure your machines or not? That's really what it comes down to. And again, the area, just as long as you're not in a war zone or a drug zone, I wouldn't worry so much about the area. The, the one that we had that was broken into was in a high-end, really nice neighborhood and a nice, uh, like, strip mall. So it could happen anywhere. Anywhere. Okay? Um, so that's why if you're really concerned about it, just get insurance. Get insurance. It's dirt cheap. It's like 500 bucks a year. It covers three machines and up to $2,500 in each machine. Cheap. Cheap. Right? But keep in mind, when you start, when you have, like, 10 machines, 15 machines, 20 machines, 30 machines, 40 machines, it adds up. <laughs> and then if you, this is going to sound really stupid when I say this, but <laughs> you have 20 machines, right? And you're paying premiums on them over and over and over and over again. And you never have an incident. You're like, ah, what the hell? Why am I paying all this in premiums? Right? I mean, you should be happy to have a machine broken broken into right that's why it sounds stupid you should be happy you didn't have any machine broken into you didn't you didn't get robbed right but when you start thinking about it it's like what are the chances that 20 of your machines are going to get broken into and robbed at the same exact time it's just not it's not very likely you know so when you start paying for insurance for 20 machines over five years 10 years it's sometimes it might start you just might start thinking like, oh, do I really want insurance or do I want to take a chance? Again, that's up to you. Personal preference. But in general, I think your money's kind of safe in there, right? Um, I think it's kind of safe in there. It's not guaranteed. You know, nothing is guaranteed. But I think it's fairly safe. You know, again, I've been doing this 10 years. I had one issue. Just one issue. And again, $1,900 loss. $1,900 loss in 10 years. Not too shabby. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to po post them below. If you would, um, uh, if you would like to suggest a new another video for me to make, you can post that below too. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Right, you can click that ATM right there and subscribe to this channel. And again, you know, like the video, any comments, post them below, any suggestions for a new video, post them below. And um, if you would like me to help you start your own ATM business, please keep in mind, in order for you to start your own ATM business, you need between $6,000 and $10,000. Higher end is if you want to get into mobile. If, you don't, if you're not worried about mobile right now, you need about six grand to get started, okay? If you would like me to help you, go to atmtrainingvideo.com. Enter your email on the next page. Watch the video. It's 28 minutes long. Super informative. If you want me to help you, you got six grand. Fill out that application after you watch that video. Set up a call with my team. Uh, they'll go over your goals with you, and you together will figure out if one of my trainings is a fit for you. Okay? You can also go to atmtrainingvideo.com um, if you would just like to learn more about the ATM business. Enter your email and watch that video on the next page. All right? All right. Well, listen, hopefully that made sense to you. Uh, yes, overall, I think your money is secure, you know, when you put your money inside your ATM. But no, it's not 100% secure. To be 100% secure, get insurance. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. And may you live happily off of passive income.